Scientists and medical researchers have for years have differed over the exact definition of a pandemic, is it a pandemic, or an epidemic, but one thing everyone agrees on is that the word describes the widespread occurrence of disease, in excess of what might normally be expected in a geographical region. Cholera, bubonic plague, smallpox, and influenza are some of the most brutal killers in human history. And outbreaks of these diseases across international borders, are properly defined as pandemic, especially smallpox, which throughout history, has killed between 300-500 million people in its 12,000 year existence. What about COVID-19, the novel coronavirus? Beginning in December 2019, in the region of Wuhan, China, a new, novel, coronavirus began appearing in human beings. It has been named COVID-19, a shortened form of coronavirus disease of 2019. This new virus spreads incredibly quickly between people, due to its newness, no one on earth has an immunity to COVID-19, because no one had COVID-19 until 2019. While it was initially seen to be an epidemic in China, the virus spread worldwide within months. The WHO declared COVID-19 a pandemic in March, and by the end of that month, the world saw more than a half million people infected and nearly 30,000 deaths. The infection rate in the US and other nations was still spiking. With the coronavirus pandemic, people all over the world have become more aware of the best practices during a pandemic, from careful hand washing to social distancing. Countries across the world declared mandatory study at home measures, closing schools, businesses, and public places. Dozens of companies and many more independent researchers began working on tests, treatments, and vaccines. The push for the human race to survive the pandemic became the primary concern in the world. The outcome of the COVID-19 pandemic is impossible to predict, at the time of this writing. But we can learn from pandemics in history to determine our best courses. These are our teachers, the Spanish flu, the AIDS pandemic, and more. HIV slash AIDS pandemic, at its peak, 2005 to 2012. Death toll, 36 million. Cause, HIV slash AIDS. First identified in Democratic Republic of the Congo in 1976, HIV slash AIDS has truly proven itself as a global pandemic, killing more than 36 million people since 1981. Currently there are between 31 and 35 million people living with HIV, the vast majority of those are in Sub-Saharan Africa, where 5% of the population is infected, roughly 21 million people. As awareness has grown, new treatments have been developed that make HIV far more manageable, and many of those infected go on to lead productive lives. Between 2005 and 2012 the annual global deaths from HIV slash AIDS dropped from 2.2 million to 1.6 million. Flu pandemic, 1968. Death toll, 1 million. Cause, influenza. A category 2 flu pandemic sometimes referred to as the Hong Kong flu, the 1968 flu pandemic was caused by the H3N2 strain of the influenza a virus, a genetic offshoot of the H2N2 subtype. From the first reported case on July 13, 1968 in Hong Kong, it took only 17 days before outbreaks of the virus were reported in Singapore and Vietnam, and within three months had spread to the Philippines, India, Australia, Europe and the United States. While the 1968 pandemic had a comparatively low mortality rate, 0.5%, it still resulted in the deaths of more than a million people, including 500,000 residents of Hong Kong, approximately 15% of its population at the time. Asian Flu, 1956-1958 Death Toll, 2 million Cause, Influenza Asian flu was a pandemic outbreak of influenza A of the H2N2 subtype, that originated in China in 1956 and lasted until 1958. In its two-year spree, Asian flu traveled from the Chinese province of Gaizhou to Singapore, Hong Kong, and the United States. Estimates for the death toll of the Asian flu vary depending on the source, but the World Health Organization places the final tally at approximately 2 million deaths. 69,800 of those in the U.S. alone. Flu pandemic, 1918. Death toll, 20-50 million. Cause, influenza. 
between 1918 and 1920 a disturbingly deadly outbreak of influenza tore across the globe, infecting over a third of the world's population and ending the lives of 20 to 50 million people. Of the 500 million people infected in the 1918 pandemic, the mortality rate was estimated at 10% to 20%, with up to 25 million deaths in the first 25 weeks alone.